So how do we do? How do we deal with complex trinomials? What is a complex trinomial first? Well, trinomial means three terms, and complex means that the a value at the beginning is different than one. So for example, two x squared plus blah blah blah, or minus x squared. That's not one. That's minus one. So it's a complex trinomial. Half x squared minus minus blah blah blah. Those are all uh, complex trinomials. Now for the factoring, remember that the first thing we look for is common factor. Then we check for the special cases, difference of squares and perfect squares. Then we check for simple trinomial. And if not, we go and try what we're going to try right now. There are many different ways of solving a complex trinomial or factoring a complex trinomial, sorry. Um, but I'm just going to show you the one case that is can be used for actually all cases, the ones that I just showed you. And that's the trial and error or the organized trial and error. So what do we know? If I have 2x squared minus 5x minus 12, I do know that it's a trinomial and that it's a complex trinomial. So I also know that my answer is going to be in the shape of two brackets and the first times the first will end up being 2x squared. So it's going to be 2x and x. That will give me the 2x squared. Now I know that the other two numbers are going to have to give me 12, but I don't know what they are. Let's check for signs. Well, it's a negative at the end, so I know one's going to be plus, one's going to be minus, but I don't know which one's which. Okay, follow this technique. We're going to draw a little box, and we're going to figure out the two numbers that multiply to 2x squared, which in this case is only one choice, and that's 2x and 1x. Right. Now we're going to draw a cross to remember that we're going to cross multiply. And we're going to find out all the numbers that multiply to 12. I know it says negative 12 over there, so later on we're going to have to put 1 plus 1 minus. But right now let's just concentrate with 12. So we got uh, 12 and 1. And then that's 12 and 1. This is the first bracket, that's the second bracket. So plus 12. And it could be the other way around, so 1 and 12. Or 6 and 2 or 2 and 6, or 4 and 3, or 3 and 4. So those are all my possibilities. Now, I should have checked that there's no common factor here, and there's no, there's a 2, a 5, and a 12. If I cannot take out common factor there, I will not be able to take common factor from my bracket. So if this is my answer, 2x and 12, I will be able to take out a 2. And that can happen, because I cannot take it from here. So it's an easy way to get rid of some, some options. So if I have common factor with 2 and something else, I don't need to try it. So the 6, the 2, 4. So I really have two choices, the 1 and the 12, or the 3 and the 4 that will work out. And this is how we check. Well, I'm going to have this times this and this times this, which will show as a cross multiplication over here. So 12, sorry, 2 times 12, it's 24. And 1 times 1 gives me 1. With 24 and 1, can I make negative 5? No, I cannot. So this is not my answer. And now I'll check 2 and 4 is 8. And 1 and 3 is 3. With 8 and 3, can I make minus 5? Well, yes, I can, as long as it's minus 8 and plus 3. But where do I get the minus 8? Well, I get it from here. 2 times minus 4, so that's my answer. And x times positive 3 gives me the other one. And now I, I made everything. Let's see how we put this together. Well, the top is the first bracket, so 2x plus 3. And the other one's x minus 4. And what we want to do is check, expand it, to see if we got the same thing that we started with. 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times minus 4, it's minus 12. That worked out. And now the inner, 3x minus 8 gives me minus 5. And you notice that that's exactly what we're doing, right? We created these last two numbers to make it equal to 12. We created the first two numbers to make them equal to 2x squared. And then this cross multiplication is just like the inside and the outside. Let's do two more so you get the hang of it. And then there's going to be a lot of practicing needed. It's very mechanical. That's the only nice thing. It looks complicated at first, but then it gets mechanical and it goes really easy. 3x squared plus 26x plus 16. 
Check for common factor. 3 and 16 don't have common factor, so can't take anything out. Now, 3x squared, there's only one possibility. My first two numbers are just going to be 3x and x. So I'm going to make a box. 3x and x. Then across. And I need to figure out numbers that go up to 16. Well, it's 16, it'd be, um, I guess, 8 and 2, 2 and 8, uh, 4 and 4, 16 and 1, 1 and 16. And I think that's it. So let's start cross multiplying. Can we, let's check for common factor. Well, 3 does not have common factor, and 1 doesn't have common factor, so I can't get rid of any of these cases. So let's check. That's 6. 6 and 8. With 6 and 8, can I make 26? No, that's not good. 24 and 2. So I'm multiplying them. 24 and 2, can I make 26? Actually, I can if I add them. And I shouldn't check for that either. Also, this is positive and this is positive. So I know that both numbers are going to be plus. And now I found out that if it's 3x plus 2, and x plus 8, I get that answer. Now, like always, I'll check. 3x times x is 3x squared. That's good. 2 times 8 is 16. That's good, too. And now the inner. 2x plus 24 gives me 26x, which means I got the right answer. And that's good. Now, for the last case, Four x squared. Well, four x squared can have two answers for my box. It could be two x times two x, or it could be four x times x. So I may have to try more than once. Um, and this is how we do it. So this is two x times two x gives me four x squared, and I need two numbers that multiply to three. Well, that's easy. It's just three and one. Now I could put the one and three, but since this is two and two, when I cross multiply, I'm gonna get the same answer. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, with 2 and 6, can I make 11? No, I can't. So that was not the right box. So either I erase it, or I do another box with 4x and x, cross multiply, 3 and 1, and now I need to do the 1 and 3, so let's check. 4 and 1 is 4, and 1 and 3 is 3, so with 4 and 3, can I make 11? No, I can't, so that's not good. And now 12 and 1. Well, with 12 and 1, I can make 11. As a matter of fact, I knew that 1 is going to be plus, 1 is going to be minus, because that last one's a minus. So if I make this minus 12 and this plus 1, this will work out. And therefore, I'm just going to go over here. My answer is going to be 4x plus 1 and x minus 3. And please, don't forget to do two things. The first one is always look for common factor before you get started on it. Because it may actually not be a, a complex trinomial. It may be a simple trinomial in disguise. Or you bring your numbers down so it's not as difficult to, to use. And then last one, always remember to expand your answer to make sure that you got the same thing that we started. So let's check. 4x times x is 4x squared. 1 times minus 3, it's minus 3. And 1x minus 12x gives me minus 11x. And therefore, we got what we started. We got the right answer.